Greetings. This is first lecture of the tutorial how to create 2D video game in Godot 4. We are using Godot 4.3 version, so we'll start with create new project. Click once, you will have this dialog create new project. First, write some kind of the name to the video game, for example. You will have automatically created project then click mobile as a renderer this will be for less advanced 3d graphic and this will support desktop and mobile platforms forward plus is uh, for a most quality uh, video graphics compatibility for less quality video graphics so mobile is some kind of the middle option create and edit once we will wait a little bit uh, for uh, Godot with a 100, uh, with a more than a 100 megabytes now. Initialize and then we will create one kind of root node. What kind of root node we need? We need 2D node. 2D node will create 2D scene. So create a root node, click once on 2D scene. This is a 2D video game scene. In this scene, you will have four micro buttons up. This is for a 2D, 3D, for editing your script, and for accessing uh, asset library, which are online from the version 4.3. In the previous version, you have some kind of um, offline assets. So we will leave it as a 2D. Here, on the left side, we have scene window, we have file system window. On the right side, we have inspector window. Above, we have one palette with micro buttons to start and work with your project. Down there in the bottom part of the um, screen, you have some kind of output uh, folder, uh, uh, output uh, window, uh, debugger window, audio, animation and shader editor first thing first uh, in the left part is a main menu where you have for example option scene and there you can save a scene for example we can save this scene because this scene is unsaved so we can go to scene and click save scene for example and we will save this scene with some kind of name Every scene have a root node. 2D scene need to have 2D root node. So this kind of node, 2D node, is a, this kind of root node is 2D node. We will click uh, right mouse button and open documentation to see what kind of class is this. So class or a game object here is a node 2D. Simple description. A 2D game object with a transform, position, rotation, and scale. All 2D nodes, including physics, objects, and sprites, inherit from node 2D. Use node 2D as a parent node to move, scale, and rotate. Children in 2D project also gives control of the node's renderer order. For every of your node, you can click the right mouse button and open documentation. This documentation can help you sometimes sometimes not but you have these options so uh, second thing uh, what uh, we will explain is a file system in the file system for now we have a resource folder in this resource folder we have only one object this object in some kind of graphic icon svg file this is some kind of compressed texture 2d not important for now but just to know on the right side you have inspector window with a node and history tabs in inspector window you can see every property of a node so this node is a class or a game object every class have properties in the inspector window you can see the properties properties of this node 2d is for example transform Visibility, ordering, texture, material, process, etc., etc. Transform property have some kind of additional properties. And this is position, rotation, scale, and skew. 
what can uh, uh, you do with this inspector window? You can simply enter some properties and change uh, some uh, property of an object. Okay, this is explain it. And now uh, we will create uh, some kind of uh, 2D video game. And for this, we need some other things uh, made in this setup. For example, we will work uh, lots uh, in a mobile window. So we will work with the mobile files. Now I'm using scroller on my mouse to show you game space. So this is a game project space where you create your 2D video game. We will change this space to be in some um, resolution for a 2D video game. So go to project, project settings, and on the left side, please find something like display window. Click once. Viewport with viewport height. We will change this. So uh, what can we do? Uh, we can uh, do something like uh, 180 to the width and 320 to the height. This will be some uh, simple uh, low-level uh, resolution for some kind of simple 2D video game for a mobile. Uh, there are uh, many advices to change this handheld orientation from a landscape to portrait because this is better. Don't do this, please. Just leave it to the landscape and set it like this. Viewport with 180, viewport height 320. Uh, 320. When the people who are working on a project decide to change their bugs and mistakes, I will explain you differently but till now i will explain you only what working so close it and now what we have we have something like this as you see now everything is changed let's see i will click once on the run current scene f6 is shortcut now i'm saving this game scene with the default name here no 2d save this is not recommended just to know. And now you see how uh, will your game scene look. So this will be your game scene, something simple for a mobile uh, or a tablet or whatever. You can change, of course, this resolution, but uh, I suggest you to uh, leave it like this uh, till the end of this tutorial. After that, you can change whatever you like to change. So this is it. Uh, and what is recommended to do with the root node? We are still in a setting of the project, game project. So it's recommended to change a root node name. So click once on F2, and we will change in something like uh, 2D video game scene or 2D scene. And uh, now we will go to F6 save, uh, F6 launch, and then what we have? We have a little bit of problems because this need to, uh, to be done before. What can we do now? We can only do scene, save as, and then we can do some manual changes. This is all also thank you to the uh, Godot uh, project creators, but uh, I'm telling you what uh, it's best, best for you. Best for you is to write a root uh, node name at uh, start. So we'll change it, for example, like a 2D video game scene. And when you write the uh, name of the scenes, when you write the name of the script, use a low, uh, low, low. Don't uh, use the capital letters. 
So use this low casing, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. So save. And now, if you add a script, your script will uh, keep this name. So um, this uh, can be our initial settings. We have a resolution for a game screen. We have a set up uh, one uh, 2D scene. We have set up a root node. Now we can add a script. Click once here on attach a new script. And you will have GD script with a path name 2D video game scene. Because we change this, it's an important thing. So click create once. Uh, now we have a script also added with a two default function, a ready function, and function process. This can be good uh, initialization or a good setting for our 2D video game. We will continue in the next lecture. Have a good day. Goodbye.